Hello and welcome back to the Lantana Book Club. I hope you've been keeping well and that you've been keeping safe um, and reading lots of books <laughs> while you've been doing that. Um, my name is Marie Hamir uh, and today I'll be sharing a few stories from Lantana's upcoming picture book, Escape, The Day We Had to Run. Um, this book is written by Ming and Hua and illustrated by Carmen Vela. Escape, One Day We Had to Run, um, is a picture book that follows the brave and inspiring people throughout our history that have been forced to leave their homes and their families because of war, famine, intolerance, slavery, economic and political upheaval, and even climate change. These remarkable true stories of escape show how courageous people all around the world have been in overcoming seemingly insurmountable obstacles in their flight to freedom. And I'm very excited to be reading a few stories from this brilliant book. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first story I'm going to read to you with today is called Defy. Defy. Go with your gut, do what is right, and disregard orders. When Nazi Germany occupied Austria in 1938, Austria became an extremely dangerous place for Jewish people. Many try to escape the reign of terror enforced by the German Gestapo, the secret police, and if anyone tried to help them, they were also severely punished. However, one Chinese diplomat, Consul General Dr. Feng Shan Ho, defied his superior's orders and risked his own life and livelihood to issue a visa to every Jewish person who applied to the Chinese consulate in Vienna. Over a two-year period, Ho issued more than 4,000 visas. When the Nazis closed down the consulate because the building was owned by a Jewish person, Ho used his own money to rent another space to continue the rescue. 18,000 Jewish people fled from Europe to Shanghai during World War II. Thousands of them because of one compassionate man. Ho never bragged about his achievements or took credit for saving so many lives using the stroke of his pen. The next story I'll be sharing with you today is called Stowaway. Stowaway. Run away, hide, follow the North Star. The Underground Railroad was not an actual railroad, but a network of secret routes and safe houses in the US fanning out from the southern slave states to northern free states and to Canada, where slavery had been abolished. Many slaves stowed away on boats to cross the Ohio River, moving by night in extreme secrecy. Harriet Tubman was one of the many courageous people, some of whom were once slaves themselves, who risked everything. Family separation, torture and death to help others escape slavery. Harriet made 13 missions on the Underground Railroad, helping rescue an estimated 70 enslaved people. Slavery was finally abolished in the United States in 1865. The final story that I'd like to share with you today is called Swim. Swim. Dive in, don't think, just swim. Every night, people left their villages and cities in mainland China to escape famine and the violent upheaval of the Cultural Revolution. Chan Pak Chi and his girlfriend Li Kit Hing made the decision to leave, and they started training every day. Finally, they connected themselves to each other with rope and dived into one of the deep and dirty bays in the southernmost region of mainland China, heading towards British Hong Kong. Even though they took the shortest route, they had to swim for six hours through shark-infested waters during a typhoon. From the 1950s to the 1970s, more than 700,000 peasants, students, workers, soldiers, and city dwellers fled from China to Hong Kong. Thousands escaped by swimming. An untold number died from exhaustion or drowning. Others were attacked by sharks. Many were caught by Chinese gunboat patrols or soldiers and shot or sent back to China. Yet many, like Chan and Li, 
made it to the shore and began a life with freedom, food, and a brighter future. Thank you so much for watching today's Lantana Book Club episode. We really hope you enjoyed listening to some of the stories in Escape, One Day We Had to Run. This amazing book will be available on May 6th, 2021, or if you want to learn more about it now, please visit lantanapublishing.com. The link will be available in the description below. We have so many other books coming up as well, so do check those out too. Uh, and don't forget to like, subscribe and share if you enjoyed this video. And we look forward to seeing you for a brand new book very, very soon. Until then, keep reading, stay safe. I'll see you next time. Bye.